I feel like a lot of the, of the purpose of healthcare reform is to cover the uninsured, and I guess the verdict is still out on whether healthcare reform is actually going to cover more uninsured. What what is the outlook for the uninsured, either under healthcare reform or through existing programs like Adult Basic in Pennsylvania? Okay, um, the long range outlook I think is very good. In in the short run, we have some real problems. Um, the the primary insurance for uninsured adults other than medical assistance which is has very low income limits is the adult basic program for which there are very long waiting lists right now um, because that does not receive any federal funding um, however that program is at risk as even though there's a lot of folks who can't get on it for the thousands of adults who rely on that for their basic health care, it's at risk because a large portion of the funding comes from Blue Shield and the Blue Cross programs across the state. And the law that um, provided that funding from them is set to expire come July. So there is a, a real risk that that program might be deeply slashed uh, before federal health care reform can ramp up and provide the needed coverage for the uninsured. So we're real concerned about that. Um, there is uh, one portion of health care reform in terms of, of new insurance that will be provided this year, and that's known as the high-risk pool. And this will be for individuals who have been uninsured for at least six months and have a pre-existing medical condition. One of the reasons, not the only reason, but one of the reasons that people can't get health insurance is because of pre-existing conditions. Now, if they happen to be working for an employer that provides health insurance, then usually that's not a problem. But there are a lot of small employers who do not provide health insurance, often they can't afford to provide health insurance. So the individual is stuck trying to find insurance on their own in what's called the individual market. In the individual market, the health insurance companies are allowed to refuse to provide coverage based on a pre-existing condition. That's called medical underwriting. So there are a number of individuals who even if they have the money to buy the insurance, can't get it because they are, the insurance companies have frozen them out, said, we won't cover you. You've had some kind of medical condition in the past. We won't give you any health insurance. Right? So <clears throat> federal health care reform um, it sets up these pools, uh, and Pennsylvania actually has the option to operate the pool itself. The governor has, in fact, sent a letter uh, to the Secretary of, of Health and Human Services saying we're going to operate our own pool. It will be done by the State Department of Insurance and they will cover approximately 5,000 people initially. Again, these are people who they have to have been uninsured for six months and had some kind of pre-existing condition and they will then be able to get insurance uh, through this state um, offered plan, or there may be multiple plans, but it will be the state insurance department that administers it. Um, now there will be a cost, this isn't free, but there will be some subsidies for lower income individuals to help them purchase um, this insurance. Uh, now there's also another piece of, of federal health care reform that is going into effect this year which should be helpful, and, and that's the ban on what's called rescissions. Um, and, and there's been some publicity about this. And this is for people who manage to get on health insurance, usually through an individual policy. And then um, they have claims because they get sick. Uh, and the insurance company goes back and says, oh, you forgot to mention about something you had in your past when you applied, even though that particular condition has no bearing on the medical condition that you have now. So we're going to terminate your coverage. You're out in the cold, even though you've been paying the premiums all along, and, and this particular condition you may have for, forgotten about has nothing to do with your current medical condition. So federal law is going to ban those kinds of terminations. Right. So that'll help cut down on the people who become uninsured mm -hmm. through no fault of their own. Um, the big changes, however, will occur 
in 2014, and there's going to be um, two primary changes then. One is that the state will be required to expand the medical assistance, or also known as Medicaid program, to cover uh, adults, adults, even adults who do not have children, uh, up to 133 percent of the federal poverty level. So that would mean uh, for a, uh, a, a single individual right now, that would be roughly $1,200 a month mm -hmm. in earnings for a family of four. That'd be a little over um, $2,400 a month in earnings. That they would, uh, now the adults would qualify um, and it's been very difficult for adults to get coverage under medical assistance because the income limits have been so very low and there's other kinds of requirements attached. Mm -hmm. So starting in, in uh, 2014, they will now, those low-income adults will be able to get the medical assistance and, and that's coverage regardless of any pre-existing conditions. Uh, and for adults that are ab above that, there's going to be these um, these kind of conglomerates of health insurance called health insurance exchanges that the state will oversee uh, where um, both uninsured adults and small businesses will be able to purchase and have guaranteed insurance through these exchanges. Uh, and the exchanges will have to provide a certain level of coverage so that people will know exactly what it is they're getting and there will be financial subsidies depending on income um, through the federal government to make this insurance hopefully affordable both to small businesses and to uninsured adults. But unfortunately, that doesn't kick in until 2014. Sure. And how can someone find out about coverage through the high-risk pool this year? Uh, the State Department of Insurance mm -hmm. will um, be providing that information um, and they're found at, at insurance.pa.us. Um, no, I'm sorry, insurance.state.pa.us is their website. Okay. Um, and um, they're just beginning to put that together so there's no details out there yet, mm -hmm. uh, but they will be providing that information shortly. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure thing. David Gates, Policy Director for the Pennsylvania Health Law Project. Thank you. All right.